So the plan is to go through uh, the choreography on Return of the Jedi. It's a, I believe, four-part movement. <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. Three nights, three different shows. That's insanely good. Nice job, nice job. Okay, now we're going into page 94. Lights, no camera, action. Interior, Emperor's Tower, throne room. If you will not turn to the dark side, perhaps she will. Never! Lights, no camera, action is a live script read um, on stage of my favorite films. No! <laughs> your favorite film, gather up a group of talented actors, make some props, and read the script live on stage to an audience. Sounds doable. You know, you get the script and you just sit there and read it. <laughs> hey, how hard can it be? Let's just do it, you know? Creator and director Jesse Locke came up with the idea almost 10 years ago. We started off with Clue. We did Die Hard Ghostbusters. This will be the eighth one in total and they've just gotten bigger and more crazy and more creativity has gone into them. Lizzie will say that. Then you go into three aggressive moves by Luke. This year, Locke and company are back with their most ambitious undertaking to date. The original Star Wars trilogy, all three films, back to back to back nights at Open Space Event Studios in Bend. And it's a little more than just a reading. It's a multimedia extravaganza. So you'll have video work, you'll have actors reading the script, you'll have an amazing prop master who has like practical props. We're doing wigs, we're doing lightsabers, we're doing like throwing asteroids out at the audience when it's like they're going through the asteroid field. So it's a very interactive space. <laughs> Which I thought in my mind, I was like, genius. This is just gonna be the best idea I've ever had. As we get into this minutia of the show, it's, it's a lot to take on. Yes! The force is strong. When we say this is the biggest to date, it is the biggest to date. Amber Hansen started with Locke during his second Lights No Camera action live script reading. An all-female cast of the Quentin Tarantino cult classic, Reservoir Dogs. And she's been collaborating on the series ever since. By the end of it, I said, this is the most fun I've ever had on stage, and I have been stage managing for uh, Jesse Locke ever since. You are unwise to lower your defenses. I'll never join the dark side. You have failed, your highness. Jesse has the most golden retriever energy of a human being that I've ever met. Lightning! Oh no, another thing of lightning! We're all having such an amazing time. I think it's, it, it can't possibly be, uh, be more fun than, than we're having. Hopefully it'll be almost as fun to watch it. Boo! Oh no, the biggest lightning of all! The shows take place this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Tickets are available at benticket.com. And Locke and crew plan to have all kinds of fun around the three-night event. After Return of the Jedi, we are doing a dance party, costume party with cash prizes. Come, bring your Star Wars people out, get fun, get fun. It's get funky, and then we're gonna have some fun. Even if you've seen Star Wars a hundred times, even if you've never seen Star Wars, this show is going to be a once in a lifetime experience. All I can say is it's gonna be more fun than you've ever had in a theater. It's just going to be an incredible experience for a Star Wars fan or anyone actually who's into like theater or acting or performance based um, kind of entertainment. Java, I'll, I'll pay you triple. You're throwing away a fortune here. Don't be a fool. And if you're still a little unsure as to what exactly this is, let Amber paint the picture. Imagine George Lucas writes a script. He has this great story in his head and nobody will give him money to make it happen. So he calls all his friends into his living room. They all sit down with the script and people just make props out of whatever they have at hand and they get to tell their story without the means that he had. So it's kind of a fifth grade play meets an SNL skit, um, but it's just, it is theater unlike anything else. That's insanely good. 
In Bend, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.